If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. On year 737, an evil Kai who hated a lot of mortals due to the fact that he couldn't stand the fact that mortals are at the same level of God. He felt that mortals are nothing but garbage and that they deserve to not even live. This evil Kai was no one other than Zamasu. Inside this what if, this what if takes place when Zamasu fought with Goku and after being upset on how Goku was able to be so strong and everything and from there he goes and kills Goatsu and that's where the story begins. Once when Zamasu went and killed Goatsu, he then went and stole his time rank and said, now all I have to do is go and gather the super dragon balls and then wish to exchange body with that mortal. Project Zero Mortal will definitely be on the way. Without knowing, Zamasu accidentally used the time ring as he was sent back in time, back to the time where Goku was just born on planet Vegeta and when he was there, he didn't notice that as he proceeded to go and collect the super dragon balls and once when he did, he then went and made a wish and said, I wish to change body with Goku, make me son Goku. The super dragon has now granted Zamasu's wish. But due to his miscalculation, Zamasu's wish wasn't exactly what he wanted as he ended up switching place with baby Goku. And since his mind is a baby, he didn't have the same thought or he didn't even remember what happened as he has to all start from the beginning but his heart was as evil as it can be since it was filled with hatred for every mortal. Goku was born only a few days old as he was inside his capsule and due to the fact that he had Zamasu's power within him. His power level skyrocketed, making him a very powerful warrior, but because he has God Key, he couldn't be detected by the radar, as they all thought that Goku was born ineffective and that there's something wrong with him and therefore they had to do more research. Bardock, the father of Goku, has now returned right back from his mission, as he didn't know what was going on but he hadn't a clue and he saw that Frieza was already surrounding planet Vegeta as he was getting ready to destroy it. Bardock decided to go and save Goku's life as he went and took Goku from his healing chamber and he made his way towards a space pod as he decided to go and save Goku's life at any cost. With that Bardock went and set the coronation as he set the space pod to go to planet earth away from this planet as Goku was confused on where he was going but from there at the same time he saw that planet Vegeta has now exploded due to Frieza going there to destroy the entire planet. After a some time Goku has now arrived to planet earth. And once when his space pod arrived, Goku came out as he was confused on where he was but then he began to look around and saw that he was in a world with very weak mortal lives as he compared his own power level to theirs and he saw that they didn't even come close to him. While sensing planet earth, an old man was crossing by as he saw Goku and from there he went and picked him up. Goku didn't like him as he tried to brush him off but the old man insisted on holding on to Goku. He was Grandpa Gohan. Grandpa Gohan saw that Goku was really strong and that he didn't know how strong Goku is and why he's so strong so he decided to go and take Goku towards his best friend and his master's home who is no one other than Master Roshi. But before he can, Goku ended up using his God Split Cut as he managed to go and cut down Gohan and he died right there. With that Goku began to go and rock around. Wandering alone and after some time Goku found an old man who was known to be Master Roshi, the Turtle Hermit. And when he saw Goku, he saw that Goku was all alone and so he decided to go and take Goku under him and raise him. Goku had a plan but he had to pretend to be with Master Roshi's side until he's grown to be a lot stronger and from there Roshi decided to go and teach Goku everything he knows about martial arts. After all he did raise Goku so he decided to make Goku his own and teach him everything he needs to know about being a martial artist. With that 12 years has passed as Goku was now a 12 year old boy and therefore he told Roshi that he wanted to hit make his gi into death. As Goku was wearing this gi and he felt that this color suits his personality. With that, Master Roshi was about to go and tell Goku about the idea of the World Martial Arts Tournament. But Goku looked towards him and said, You foolish old man, 
I was only pretending to be on your side. Eh? What are you talking about, Goku? <laughs> you foolish mortal. I have used you just to learn everything you know about martial arts. And now it's time I do you away. Although the only thing that you taught me that was useful was the Kamehameha wave. Uh, I, I know exactly what you are. I also was ready for you to show me your true colors. Is that so? And how do you know who I am, old man? You killed Gohan. And for that, I have this technique that will seal you away. Roshi quickly took out the gear that he needed to use the evil containment wave to seal Goku away. But before he can, Goku went and rushed right towards Roshi and striked him right in his face. And from there, when he got up, he saw that Goku came close to him as he went and decked him again. With that, Roshi got angry as he decided to go and use his full power. And once when he did, he went and rushed towards Goku and he punched him. Once when Goku got up, he wiped the blood off of his mouth as he licked it and said, <laughs> I love the taste of blood. It reminds me of just what I'll do to you mortals. You're pretty sick. Now it's my turn, old man. Roshi went and he tried to use the evil containment wave on Goku, getting him to be sealed away forever. But before he can, Goku went and he used his God Slicer as he managed to go and cut Master Roshi. And before he can die, Goku powered up a black Kamehameha wave as he looked towards Roshi and said, Now rest in peace, old man. He aimed a blast right towards Roshi as it hit him head on and he died right there. Just when Master Roshi has died, Krillin has now arrived to Roshi's island since he wanted to learn everything he knows about martial arts with Master Roshi. But when he got there, he saw that Roshi was lying dead as he looked towards Goku and said, uh, uh, Who are you? Why are you here? Do you want a piece of me, cue ball? Krillin went and he tried to run for it, but Goku rushed right towards him as he aimed a blast towards Krillin and he died right there too. Goku began to laugh and said, I want the entire universe to be wiped out of mortals, and I shall be the only god living. Eventually, they will die, each and every one of them. Whoever wants to be in my crusade, they shall know the hatred of mortals. <laughs> With that, Goku left and made his way towards the World Martial Arts Tournament. But before going there, he saw that the clouds went dark, as it was very gloomy, and said, Huh? What is going on there? Turns out someone managed to go and collect all the Dragon Balls and they decided to use it for their own wish and that someone was no one other than King Piccolo since he was released from his seal by the Pilaf gang because Kami would make sure that they wouldn't get their hands on the Dragon Balls and so it led them to go to get King Piccolo so he can help them use the Dragon Balls but instead King Piccolo went and he used the Dragon Balls for himself as he has wished to become young again. Finally, I'm young again, and I have gained this new power, I could kill anyone. Goku has now arrived, as he saw the dragon, and from there he was overwhelmed on seeing the dragon. Amazing, who would have ever thought that this place would have the dragon too? Seeing the dragon so up close, got Goku to start remembering the super dragon balls, but from there it ran away. With that, Piccolo was about to go and kill Shenron, but Goku went and blocked his attack and said, I have some business with the dragon. But tell me, green guy, what do you seek in life? Huh? Who the hell are you? And go back to your mom if you know what's good for you, kid. Or else I'll kill you. <laughs> Please, even if you had a billions of years of training, you wouldn't stand a chance against me, mortal. Want to come and see how strong you are? Then come at me. Piccolo went and he charged towards Goku. But Goku dodged him easily and with that he went and one-shot Piccolo to the ground. After some time, Piccolo has got up, as he saw that Goku standing over him, and from there he reached out his hand and said, You have the same ambition as me. How about you come and join me on my crusade, called Project Zero Mortal. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button now so you can join the Z fans and anytime later on you feel like this isn't your channel, you could always unsubscribe. Goku has now offered King Piccolo to join him 
as he looked towards him and said, This is your opportunity to come and join me. After all, if you want to accept this offer, you will live and we can destroy all the mortals. Uh, huh? Destroy mortals? Well, I guess then sure, count me in. Knowing that if he were to say no and try to fight Goku, he would die, this was the only way to survive. As he was told that he would need to take orders and know his place, since Goku is the superior one here. Although Piccolo didn't want to agree taking orders from Goku, but he had no choice, so he accepted to Goku to be the one to follow and therefore, they have now begun the crusade to go and rule the world. Goku told him about his plan called Project Zero Mortals, as he wanted to end all the mortals' life, but first he wanted to take some time laying low so that he can grow and be stronger too. During the process, Goku saw that there are some mortals known as the Red Ribbon Army who are trying to do the same thing what Goku was trying to do, that is to be the ruler of this world. But instead, since he did want to end all the mortals, he decided to go and start with them, as him and Piccolo went and made their way towards the Red Ribbon Army's base, and they began killing each and every one of them. The Red Ribbon Army were trying to escape, but Goku and Piccolo turned this into a bloodbath, as they managed to go and kill everyone that was inside the Red Ribbon Army, and now Goku managed to go and end them. With that, they decided to lay low as they took over the King Palace and spent about 5 years there. 5 years has passed since King Piccolo and Goku teamed up and they were laying low, continuing their Project Zero Mortals in the low key so that no one would notice them since Goku wanted to have some time to grow, he is just a child, he wants to be older. Within those 5 years, Goku has grown into a teenage and Piccolo was being his right hand man. They didn't do anything but lay low but now it was time to go and start the killing as Goku has now emerged and he was ready to go and begin his Project Zero Mortal. Piccolo noticed that Goku was planning something but he had no idea what it was as he noticed that Goku left Earth and he came back. He would go and sometimes leave planet Earth to research and try to figure out more about the mortal's power level and so he can find out how he can lay out Project Zero Mortals, not only on planet Earth but he realized that he wants to do this for the entire universe. With that, Goku has now grown and said, Alright Piccolo, we need to now begin the Project Zero Mortal and start the killing. We have managed to become so strong it is time for us to show the universe who we are. We will go and eliminate the remaining mortals. Once when Goku and Piccolo left the palace, they saw that outside, Master Roshi, Kami, Tien, Crane Hermit, and even Corrin, all of them were there ready to take down Goku and Piccolo. Goku saw them and said, <laughs> Looks like you guys want to have a piece of this, huh? You guys will never learn. What do you say we end their life, Piccolo? <laughs> Sounds about right. You guys are an idiot. You think you can beat us? Well then, we'll go and end your life here and now. You better stop this, Piccolo, or else I'll end you myself. Oh, shut up, old man. You're too weak. I'll go and take down this guy with my tri-beam. Goku! You think you killed me, but wrong! Kami managed to bring me back! It's time I... Before he can finish his sentence, Master Roshi got stabbed in the guts by Goku with his god slicer, and from there he went and threw him towards the ground and said, Looks like you have died again, old man. And Goku went and powered up a blast and killed him. With that, Tien went and he powered up his tri-beam attack and hit Goku. While that was happening, Piccolo and Kami rushed towards each other. As Kami was trying to attack Piccolo, but Piccolo went and decked him in his face, getting Kami to be sent flying meters away. When Kami got up, Piccolo came and he continued to attack him non-stop. On the other hand, Goku noticed that the Roshi he killed was nothing but an after image, as the real one has appeared with Crane Hermit and from there, they both went and they performed the evil containment wave. Roshi was the one who was doing it while he aimed it towards Goku. Goku caught caught by the wave and he had no idea what was happening, but he began to scream as he saw that he was being sucked in a hole and therefore Roshi went and aimed it towards the bottle, where Crane Hermit went and he quickly went and sealed the bottle up. They managed to go and seal Goku away with the evil containment wave. With that, they began to celebrate since they managed to take Goku down, while Piccolo and Kami were going at it and he saw that they were celebrating so he decided to go and rush right towards him as he snatched the bottle away and from there he went and released Goku. That 
was a close one. Thank you, Piccolo. You managed to do something good for once. Remember, I saved your last. With that, Piccolo went and rushed right towards Kami, and he began to beat the shit out of him. Kami didn't stand a chance against Piccolo since he was much younger than him and stronger, and from there he went and one shot Kami towards the ground. Piccolo knew that if he were to kill Kami, he would die too, and that there's only one way to end Kami once and for all, and that is, he decided to go and fuse with Kami by forcing him to be part of him, as Piccolo went and he put his hand on Kami and he forced Kami to be within him. Having to steal Kami's body and power, Piccolo has now become a Super Namekian. Wow, how am I able to control this power? <laughs> this is amazing! Since Piccolo was the superior one, he was the one controlling it, and therefore, they were as evil as they can be. You see this, Goku? Who would have ever thought fusing with that old man would make me this strong? I'm even stronger than you now! <laughs> Piccolo went and he rushed right towards the Crane Hermit as he powered up a blast and he killed him. While well, Tien went and he shot his tri-beam attack and aimed it towards Piccolo, getting it to be pinned towards the ground. He managed to pin him down there, as he kept using it and each time he did, Tien could feel that he was dying. Goku went and he powered up a black Kamehameha wave and aimed it towards Tien, as his wave went and hit Tien head on and he died right there. With that, Master Roshi was dying himself, since he did perform the evil containment wave and doing so, did drain a lot of his energy. Goku went right towards him and said, this time you won't come back old man. This time Goku went and he one shot Roshi as he managed to kill him too. With that Goku came towards Piccolo as he saw that Piccolo was staring towards him and said, What is it? What are you looking at? <laughs> you see this power? I could say I'm stronger than you. What did you say Piccolo? You think you're stronger than me? <laughs> well yeah, I have now the full power of Kami. Me and him fuse to become one? We can't. Before he can finish his sentence, Goku went and decked him right in his face as he got sent flying meters away. Goku followed as he went and picked him up by his ears and said, Listen here, you filthy mortal. Never in your life think that you're superior to me. You tell me this one more time, I will kill you. Do you understand me? Uh, okay, okay, relax, Goku. Okay, I surrender. That's what I thought. Know your place, you mortal. With that, Goku and Piccolo has now left, and ever since they have killed Roshi, Kami, and everyone else, eight years has passed since Goku and Piccolo begun going and killing the Z fighters, and they moved towards killing the Earthlings. Goku has now grown into a full-fledged adult. As you can see, the atmosphere of planet Earth was badly destroyed since Goku and Piccolo were on a killing spree. While that was happening, far in the galaxy, Vegeta, the prince of all Saiyans, and the other were making plans to take Frieza down as they needed Goku's help and therefore Rad decided to go to planet Earth to get Goku to come with him as he has now left and made his way towards planet Earth. Well, Piccolo. Are you ready for Project Zero Mortal to continue outside this world? Of course I am! I've been waiting for this moment! It has been 8 long years since Goku killed the Z fighters with Piccolo and they begun doing their Project Zero Mortals as they managed to go and end all the lives that were on planet Earth. There was no living mortals on planet Earth except for Piccolo and therefore they decided to use planet Earth as their home base operation. While Earth was facing this crisis, a spaceship has made its way towards planet Earth as it heard rumors about it that the planet has been eradicated and therefore the one who has arrived to the planet decided to go and check it out so they can sell it after they are, they are planet brokers. This spaceship belongs to no one other than King Cold as he has now arrived to the planet and when he saw planet Earth was empty he saw that it had some values that he could sell it but once when he got there 
and when he actually saw how planet Earth looks like, it was badly damaged and was not in good shape. It was completely tarnished and turned into nothing but wasteland. King Cold was checking the planet, he went and used his radar. As he could see, there was one massive power level coming far and he began to trip out because this level belonged to no one other than King Piccolo but he had no idea. While he was doing that, he noticed that a lot of lightning began to happen around the planet as it was happening everywhere and from there, he saw that someone has emerged out of the lightning and when he looked up, it was no one other than Goku. Goku has now arrived as he saw King Cold and said, Who are you? And why did you come here? Tell me, what are you doing? And why is it I cannot pick up your power level? That is because Goku isn't your ordinary fighter. He is a god, you can say. Since Piccolo had Kami inside him, he had the knowledge about God and mortal and therefore he learned that Goku is a deity and not a mortal. After all, he is Zamasu in disguise. So tell me, mortal, why is it that your power is so weak? It's not even worth my time. I have no time with you. Get lost. Huh? How dare you insult me? I am King Cold, the ruler of this universe. Cold went and he rushed towards Goku as he tried to strike him in the face and he began to attack him non-stop, while Goku stood still and he took in all those hits. Once when Cold was done hitting him, he saw that Goku didn't even flinch. After getting all those hit, he wasn't even scratched as Goku looked towards Cold and said, Is that all you got? Here I thought that the mighty king of the universe would be a challenge, but you're hardly even a match for Piccolo. I'll let Piccolo finish you off, what do you say Piccolo? <laughs> Jeez, thanks Goku. As Goku went and he kicked King Cold right in his stomach, getting to fly towards Piccolo. Once when he landed next to Piccolo, he was breathing very heavily due to the fact that Goku's impact did a heavy damage on him, but from there, Piccolo went and he started to beat the shit out of him. One of King Cole's men named Sorbet saw everything as he began to trip out and he decided to go leave the planet since he saw that his master was about to die and he made his way to where it's up before going. He saw that Goku came out of nowhere as he went and stabbed Cole with a blade from his hand and from there Piccolo went and powered up a blast and killed him. With that King Cole has died while Cole's man Sorbet went and made his way to where it's up. Hey Goku! You said I could kill him, why'd you end up killing him? <laughs> Relax Piccolo, don't be so greedy after all. I need to relay the message when the universe hears that this king right here falls in the hands of me. Once when the universe learns that, they will have nothing but fear of both of us. Goku and Piccolo then saw another spaceship has now arrived to planet Earth as it was no one other and then Radis. Once when he came, he was surprised to see the condition of planet earth and said, Damn it Kakarot, you're supposed to only kill humans but he ended up killing everything. No one will buy this, what a fool. Looks like I'll have to teach him a lesson. Raditz began to use a scouter but with that he saw that Piccolo and Goku has now arrived right next to him. As Raditz turned around and when he saw Goku, he was surprised and scared at the same time. While Goku stared towards him and said, Huh? Another one huh? Judging by his tail, I could see Goku, he's also a Saiyan. K Kakara! Did you do all this? I'm not Kakara, and yes, I'm the one who ended the entire planet from mortals with the help of Piccolo. But what's it to you, Saiyan? You idiot! You're supposed to only kill the Earthling, not the planet! How are you gonna sell this now? Huh? What are you looking at? Get your ass over here! Let's go, your prince called you, he needs your help! Before Raditz can finish his sentence, Goku came instantly right next to him as he hold him by his chin and said, Just who do you think you are talking to? I guess you want to die here. Cold did and look at him. Raditz turned around as he saw Cold's body was there, lying dead. And from there he began to trip out as he couldn't believe that Goku was the one who killed King Cold. With that, he looked towards Goku and before he can speak, Piccolo went and he took Raditz by his hair as he slammed him right towards the ground and he started to beat the shit out of him. Before he could do anything, Piccolo went and powered a blast and killed Raditz. Goku saw that and said, 
Looks like you got your revenge after all, huh, Piccolo? Well, you stole my kill, I'll steal yours. With that, they have now left as they begun making plans to go and move forward from planet Earth and begun killing the other men. While that was happening, King Cold's man has now arrived to Frieza as he proceeded to go and tell him everything that happened and upon hearing that his father has died by the hands of a Saiyan, got him very angry and said, What? How can a monkey kill my father? My lord, he's different. He managed to kill your father without using any power. He's a real deal. If you fight him, you'll die. Is that so? Oh well, looks like I'll have to go and make sure it doesn't happen. My race allows me to become very strong. I'll go and train myself. That's the only way I could beat these monkeys. And after all, once I do, I'll kill all of them, including Vegeta and Nappa. With that, Frieza went and he begun to train, while Goku and Piccolo has now made plans to move to the next planet, and they saw that the planet with the highest mortal level was coming far from the east. Goku ended up picking up that power level, and therefore, he went and he was about to go and Kai Kai towards the power, but before he can, Goku saw another spaceship has now arrived to planet Earth, as this spaceship belonged to no one other than the Galactic Patrol. The Galactic Patrol officers had heard the news that planet Earth has been eradicated from all mortals, and that one single being was the one who did all of this. They didn't believe it, so they came checked it from themselves. It was no one other than Miris and Jocko. Once when Mirrors Jocko came to planet Earth, they began searching to see what happened, and they saw that King Cold was lying dead along with Radis, but the condition of planet Earth was just beyond comprehend, as they couldn't believe that someone was evil enough to do this, and from there they saw that Goku and Piccolo were standing there, as Jocko looked towards him and said, Hey you! You guys are the one who did this, huh? That is right, I'm the one who did this. Would you like to be next? How dare you talk to us? We are the Galactic Patrol Officer. And now, your punishment is we're gonna arrest you and execute you in our planet. Come with us! Goku, shall we? No. This place is actually a good place to go. They have a lot of strong mortals there. Let's go there and we'll end all of their lives. With that, Goku and Piccolo surrendered themselves to the Galactic Patrol as they went and took Goku to their place. Once when they got to their planet, they decided to go and put them into their prison jail cell. But Goku's plan was to break through the jail cell as he was now put inside there. Once when Mir and Jocko left to celebrate their victory on arresting Goku and Piccolo, Goku and Piccolo on the other hand managed to go and break their chain and from there, they went and made their way out of the prison. Goku went as he opened the door and he saw that there was one prison looking right towards him and said, You! Why don't you free me too? After all, we can work together, what do you say? Hmm? Looks like a mortal wants to work with me, huh? How disgusting. <laughs> You saying things you could ruling anyone, don't you? Look here, I don't have no time to waste, especially for a wizard. I know who you are and that's why I came here to free you. How would you like to join my crusade and we can eliminate all the mortals? But to do that, you must bow towards me to realize who I am. Is that so? Well then if you value your life, you will come and join me, instead of me joining you. Is that so? How about you come and show me then? If you haven't already subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button now so you can join the Z fans and anytime later on you feel like this isn't your channel, you could always unsubscribe. Goku and Moro stared at one another, while Piccolo couldn't comprehend the fact is how powerful Moro was and that he was witnessing a battle between him and Goku. Mirus and Jocko were busy reporting telling the Galactic King about their recent arrest but then they saw a huge explosion as Goku and Moro went and they charged towards one another. Both of their power clashed with each other. Goku went and he started to attack Moro non-stop doing whatever it took to go for the kill and end him once and for all. While Moro was trying to block all of Goku's attack and dodge each and every one of them but he saw that Goku was too fast for him and from there he went and decked Moro getting it to be sent flying away. Goku came right next to him as he went and he took out his scythe. Now Goatman, you're gonna see what it means to be using a scythe in a battle. Amazing! This is the first time I have ever seen Goku use this. Upon seeing that Goku uses a scythe and that he is really old and he doesn't have much power, 
Mara went and he threw in the towel and said, Okay, you win, I accept defeat. I will not beat you. And said, I'll join here and do whatever you like. You could say I have bent the knees. Huh? Now we're talking. <laughs> well then, go and get your full power at once. Once you do, you can join us inside Project Zero Mortal. Well, thanks. Mara went and he took a space draft that was there and he left the planet. Mirrors, on the other hand, has arrived as he saw that and said, Project Zero Mortal, you say, huh? Well, I cannot let you go with such evil thing. I'll kill you here myself. You. If it isn't the boy with the mushroom cut, what do you want? Go back doing what you're doing. You don't want any of this. Is that so? And you think you could come beat me? Let's see you try. Mirrors went towards Goku, and from there, their battle has begun. As he went and tried to attack Goku, but from there, Goku managed to go and land a hit. Once when he punched Mirrors, Mirrors got up and smiled. As he went and he kicked Goku, and Goku got sent flying meters away. Piccolo saw that as he went and he rushed in to attack Mirrors, but Mirrors went and caught his fist and he twisted it, and from there he threw Piccolo towards the ground, as Piccolo's arm ripped off but he went and regenerated a new arm. Goku saw that Mirrors was way different than anyone he has ever fought, as he saw that Mirrors went and charged right towards him and striked him in his face, and that he couldn't even land a hit on Mirrors. While Goku and Mirrors was fighting, Moro saw that as he turned around to come right back to see what's going on, and he saw to his surprise, Goku and Mirrors were going at it, but he saw that Mirrors was literally handling Goku like he feels nothing and he realized that Mirrors was the real deal. If he wants to get stronger, he'll need to go and try to take Mirrors' power without him noticing. Goku on the other hand wouldn't let Mirrors hit him like that and not respond, as he began to get angry and from there he went and he powered up a black Kamehameha wave and aimed it towards Mirrors. Mirrors went and he knocked the Kamehameha wave away like if it was nothing. Upon seeing that got Goku surprised and say, Wow, you're amazing. I have never imagined I'll have to go full out battle just to fight you. Very good Mirrors, I will never forget your name. Like I told you, I'll kill you no matter what. I really love this universe. It's very precious to me, but seeing what you did to planet Earth got me really angry and now seeing you right here, I have made my deal to do whatever it takes to kill you. Is that so? Looks like I'll have to go all out against you. Behold my true power. Goku has now transformed into a form that has never been seen before by any Saiyan, known as Super Saiyan Rose. Piccolo was very shocked on seeing Goku's power, as he couldn't comprehend what he was seeing and at the same time Mirrors wasn't worried and said, Now is that all you got? It's time you show me your true power and come fight me. Oh I see you are mocking me huh? But you can call this form Rose. <laughs> that is right. I have now achieved Super Saiyan Rose. With that, Mirrors went and he summoned his staff. As Moro was shocked and confused on seeing Goku's power, as he couldn't believe what Goku was happening and said, This power, huh? He called it Super Saiyan Rose. And now that Mirrors is there, I don't know who's stronger. Well then, Mirrors, you claim to be so strong, come hit me with everything you got. Mirrors charged right towards Goku as he went and decked him in his face with his staff, getting Goku to be sent flying meters away. He then followed and he went and hit Goku again. Goku found himself powerless against Mirrors as he had no idea that Mirrors was an angel. Despite the fact that he has also gone and transformed into a Super Saiyan Rose, Mirrors was still overpowering Goku. And with that Goku got really angry as he went and he summoned his God Blade Slicer. And he rushed towards Mirrors and he saw that Mirrors begun to fade away. Since Mirrors is an angel, an angel are not allowed to get involved in mortal matter, but he broke that rule and because of that, he is going to cease to exist any minute now. Upon seeing that he is feeding away, Goku realized that this is his opportunity, as he went and he headbutt Mirrors and he got sent Mirrors flying towards the ground. Goku then followed as he saw that Mirrors went and collapsed straight to the ground and he was having hard holding onto his life, as he can feel his life leaving his body. Moro was right next to Mirrors as he was able to grab onto one of his arms and he began to absorb most of Mirrors' attack and energy and before anything had happened, Mirrors has now disappeared as he has now ceased to exist. 
Goku saw just how powerful Mirrors was despite the fact that he has used his Super Saiyan Rose, he was badly hurt and said, This Mirrors person, huh? Who the hell is he? Mirrors? What happened? And where are you? Well then, now that he's dead, shall we leave? Are you coming, Moro? I'll come back soon enough, not right now. I'm gonna be busy going collecting more energy to get stronger. With that, Moro has now left the planet, as he absorbed Mirrors' power but no one knew. While Jocko couldn't really stop them, knowing that he would try to stop them, he would die, he let them go. And from there, Goku went and took Piccolo and he kaikai him to planet Earth, as Goku fell down and he passed out. After a few days, Goku has now recovered as he couldn't believe that Mirrors was this strong and during his recovery, he realized that if he wants to live and protect Project Zero Mortal and make sure it happens, he would have to go and take domestic measure, and that is to be more of a god. Goku then got up and told Piccolo that he'll be right back as he has left and he will begun to go and collect the Super Dragon Ball. Since he is Zamasu, he has knowledge about where they are. And after a few months, Goku managed to go and get the Super Dragon Balls and from there he went and summoned it. And he has remembered him being as Zamasu using it before to switch body. But this time, Goku asked the dragon, Listen here dragon, make me be the strongest by giving me the power of invincible. Make my body never be destroyed. The dragon has now granted Goku's wish. As he has now left and from there Goku saw that his body has automatically healed himself and he began to laugh and say, <laughs> With this owner and being a Saiyan having the ability to have something called a Zenkai boost, each time someone tries to attack me, my body will recover and get a huge boost. Just imagine how powerful I'll be by the time I fight someone stronger than me and recover each time. <laughs> Let's begin the real Project Zero Mortal. No one can stop me now. I'll end all the mortals in this universe, and from there, I will begin with the gods. After achieving invincibility, Goku let the power get to his head as he began to lose it and he began laughing and having a lot of thoughts of destroying anyone that comes in his path. With that, Goku has now Kai Kai right back to planet Earth. While he was doing that, Frieza has now returned back after training 7 months trying to get stronger than anyone and from there he was ready to go and fight with Goku as he looked towards Sorbet and said Tell me one thing, if you ever see the Saiyan again will you recognize him? <laughs> yes I will my lord. Very well then, let's go begin searching for the Saiyan. Find out what happens in the next episode of what if Goku was born as Goku Black. As we have Frieza who has now completed his 7 months training and he's ready to go and take on Goku while Goku has now wished to become invincible. Goku has now wished to become invincible as he has now become the one thing you can never beat. Not even a deity or anyone who tries to beat him will not be able to beat Goku because he is a deity with a Saiyan body that can never get hurt and with each damage he takes, it will only help him to get stronger since it will automatically recover and give him a new fresh body. From there, once he got this power, he instantly recovered from his fight with Mirrors and he got a huge Zenkai boost while doing so. Goku has now returned right back to Earth where Piccolo saw him and from there he noticed that Goku looked kinda different and that he actually was feeling different too and from there he said, What happened to you Goku? Why do you look kinda different? Well, I can't really tell it but there's something that happened. <laughs> this time Piccolo, no one will come in our path. Getting Project Zero Mortal underway will be an easy thing for us. I cannot tell but there's something different about you. Oh well, what's your plan now? Destroy all the Dragon Balls so that no one can undo what we have done. I have already destroyed the Super Dragon Ball once I got my wish. The Super Dragon Ball? Is there a such thing? Yes, I have gone and used that, that's where I was gone. And I made a wish for myself. With that, I went and destroyed it for good so no one can undo what I did. <laughs> Piccolo couldn't comprehend what he was hearing, but at the same time he was helping Goku so he supported Goku's idea. And with that, Goku decided to go to a planet called Planet Namek, as they have now set a course since they had Dragon Balls there. While they were coming, Frieza has also arrived on Planet Namek. Since he got the news from his men that they heard a myth about something called a Dragon Ball, he wanted to go check it out himself to see if it's true or not. 
because Frieza's plan was if there is such thing as a Dragon Ball, he would wish to become immortal and never die. With that, Frieza, Vegeta and Nappa has already arrived. As they are planning on taking Frieza down once when he gets a Dragon Ball, Vegeta made a plan that him and Nappa would go and quickly wish for themselves to be immortal so they can kill Frieza. While Frieza's plan was to once when he gets immortal, he would go and kill Vegeta and Nappa and then make his way towards Goku. Once when Frieza got to Planet Namek, he has begun searching for them, while Goku has now Kai Kai to Planet Namek. Piccolo saw all the Namekians were there, as he had an idea to be able to catch up to Goku's strength, so he decided to go and have a full battle with all the Namekians, so that he can go and fuse with them and gain their power. That way he won't be left behind when it comes to strength, matching with Goku. While Goku on the other hand, sensed Frieza's energy and as he was surprised to see that a mortal can be this strong, and from there he decided to go see where Frieza is, as he has now gone in Kai Kai right next to where Frieza was. And at the same time, Frieza was in the middle of holding on to the fourth Dragon Ball. Once when he laid his eyes on Goku, he was shocked to see that Goku has arrived out of nowhere, while Vegeta and Nappa were confused on what was happening and who he is. Goku saw Frieza with the Dragon Balls and said, Listen here, you mortal. Hand over that Dragon Ball, and you may live or else I'll kill you where you stand. Oh, uh, my lord! This is the man that killed your father! So I finally get to meet you, huh? At last. Since we're here, how about I go and kill you first, that way I can celebrate my victory with the Dragon Ball, what do you say? <laughs> is that so? Just tell me, how would you manage to kill me? Oh, I know. How about this? I will only use one hand, and if you beat me, the Dragon Balls are all yours to use. What do you say, mortal? Ha! <laughs> okay then, it's your funeral. Now die! Without wasting any time, Frieza went and he has now transformed into his final form. With that, Frieza has now become into his final form while Vegeta and Nappa were shocked to see since this were their very first time ever witnessing Frieza's power. Frieza then looked towards Goku and said, Well then, I could tell that you're probably a monkey like them, so how about you come and see how strong you are? You may have been stronger than my father, but you don't stand a chance against me now, I'll show you in first hand. Frieza went and rushed right towards Goku as he decked him, but Goku managed to move out of the way and with that, Frieza went and he kicked Goku right in his face, getting Goku to be sent flying towards the water. Goku then got up as he continued to smile, while Frieza went and he continued to attack Goku, but he went and dodged all of his attack. With that, Goku went and kneed Frieza right in his face as he threw him right towards the ground. Seeing that got Frieza really angry as he went and started to power up a lot of death beam and aimed it towards Goku, while Goku went and hit the beam away and one of the beam went and hit Nappa as he got killed right there. Vegeta saw that as he didn't know what to do but Goku went and he rushed right towards Frieza and striked him as he followed and continued to attack him non-stop and said, Is this all you got? Here, I thought that you'd be some big shot, but you're nothing but a weakling. Oh well, I could expect less from a mortal. I guess being weak runs in the family. <laughs> <laughs> you may be stronger here, monkey, but good thing I have come prepared for this battle. Now let me show you what you're really facing. <laughs> Frieza has now transformed into his golden form. <laughs> you see this monkey? This is the power which everyone wants and you can call this golden Frieza. As Goku could sense that his power had skyrocketed, but he didn't seem impressed as he looked towards Frieza and said, Hmm, that's not bad mortal, but as a mid, I am not impressed at all. This is all you got. What? What do you mean? <laughs> well, for a lonely creature, you have come quite far. But for now, I'll show you how far I have come. Uh, what is he? Goku has now transformed 
into his Super Saiyan Rosé as he looked towards Frieza and said, You can call this form Rosé, just like how you call yourself Golden Frieza, right? Let's see you handle me in my Rosé form. Vegeta, on the other hand, couldn't stop staring at Goku's power as he was completely speechless and had no idea just what transformation Goku has used since he has never heard of a Saiyan go pink hair. With that, Goku and Frieza's second round has now begun. Frieza went and rushed right towards Goku as he tried to hit him but Goku went and caught his fist and he twisted it and from there he went and kicked Frieza right in his guts and from there he went and followed as he started to attack him. Both of the power clashed with one another. Both Goku and Frieza were going at it trying to overpower each other and while they were fighting, the planet was being unstable as Piccolo went and he managed to fuse with most of the Namekians that were there, getting their power and having huge boost towards his own power gave him the push that he needed to be at least somewhere around Goku's level. But from there, Piccolo noticed Goku and Frieza's aura was coming far from the east as he was surprised to see that and from there, he wanted to make his way to see the battle of Goku and Frieza while Goku and Frieza were going at it. Goku then went and used his speed as he came right towards Frieza and he kicked him while Frieza got mad and so he went and powered up a blast to destroy Planet Namek and aimed it towards it. Once when the smoke cleared, Goku saw that Frieza began to laugh and said, <laughs> You may be strong monkey but you only have 5 minutes to survive. Is that all? Let's make it 2, what do you say? Goku went and powered up another blast and aimed it towards Namek. As Namek couldn't handle the amount of power getting sucked inside there and from there, lava started to pour out as the entire atmosphere has become nothing but a volcano lava. Goku then looked towards Frieza and said, You feeble mortal! You think just because I'm a Saiyan I cannot breathe in space? I'm a god! I can breathe anywhere! Goku went and charged towards Frieza and started to beat the shit out of him. Frieza at his golden form didn't stand a chance against Goku, while Goku was overpowering him and from there he went and powered up a blast and he aimed it right towards Frieza. Frieza went and tried to block it but he saw that Goku came right next to him as he used his scythe and from there he went and strike Frieza right in his stomach, cutting him in half and from there Goku went and cut him again as he cut his arm out, leaving Frieza to be armless and from there he said, This is your place, you're nothing but dog food, now die. Goku went and powered up a black Kamehameha wave and aimed it towards Frieza as it hit him head on and he died right there. Vegeta was completely shocked as he had no idea what was going on and said, uh, Who is this guy? Hmm, looks like we still got a mortal living. I must go finish the job. Goku! Holy man! You have to always show up, huh? <laughs> did you get the Dragon Ball Piccolo? I sure did. Goku has just defeated Frieza as he didn't stand a chance against Goku even after using his golden power. He still got overpowered by Goku's Super Saiyan Rose as he has proved to be the stronger one and with that, Frieza has now learned the difference between his power and Goku's. After killing Frieza, Goku saw that the planet was about to explode any second now while stared towards Goku with anger. Goku came towards him and said, What are you looking at, ugly? Who are you calling ugly? And if you know your place, you know I'm the Prince of All Saiyan! Goku came towards Vegeta and before anything could happen, he went and stabbed him right in his stomach with his god slicer as he managed to go and cut him down and said, Now you'll die as a lowly trash. With that, Goku threw Vegeta into the lava. Once when that happened, Piccolo saw how powerful Goku has gotten but at the same time Goku saw how powerful Piccolo has gotten and said, Wow, not bad Piccolo, you really have gotten much stronger than before. <laughs> Probably not a match towards you, but hey, it could still push you in your base, I could say. <laughs> I doubt it. Now hurry, the planet's going to explode any second now. Destroy the Dragon Ball! With that, Goku and Piccolo went and they destroyed all 7 star Dragon Balls and from there, the planet has now exploded as they managed to leave just in a nick of time. But not knowing where they're going, they ended up kai kai to a random planet known as Planet Yadrit. Once when they got there, Goku's Project Zero Mortal continued as he saw that they were staring at him and from there Piccolo said, Leave it to me, I want to handle them. Piccolo went and began to kill all the Yadrins that were there as they came to fight but from there, Goku went and used a new trick as he managed to go and summon up 10 Gokus and they all began to attack all the Yadrins that were there as it was nothing but a manslaughter that happened on that planet. With that, they have now managed to eradicate the entire planet from any mortal. Far in the sacred world of the Kai, 
Supreme Kai was watching everything as he began to strip out and say, Do you sense that older Kai? Yes, I do! But for the other one, someone needs to stop them! I'm afraid the only one that could stop them is Lord Beerus, but last time I checked, he's still sleeping. This isn't good. Once he wakes up, then he could go and fight them. And speaking of Beerus, it's a good thing that he released you from his seal before he went to sleep. Yeah, I don't know why he locked me up in the first place, but it is good that he would finally show me some mercy. But I'm afraid by the time he wakes up, the entire universe will be eradicated with mortals. I don't know what they're planning to do. Mm, his name is Goku, huh? Who would have ever thought a Saiyan could be this evil and also a deity? After killing everyone on planet Yadrit, Goku went and he used his senses as he picked up a very high power level coming far from the west. As he couldn't believe what he was sensing and so he went and took Piccolo with him and he Kai Kai to that planet where that power level was coming from. Once when they got there, they saw they have now ended up on a remote planet known as Planet Vampa. Goku then saw the high power level that was coming from the other Saiyan that was there and said, Huh? How could a Saiyan have this much power? What is this? They then went and made their way towards it as they saw that it was no one other than Paragus and Broly. Once when Paragus saw him, Paragus ran towards Goku as he asked him for help as he was holding onto Goku's arm but from there, Goku looked towards Broly and pushed Paragus away and said, Tell me mortal, how are you this strong? Seeing that Paragus got pushed to the ground got Broly really angry as he went and rushed right towards Goku as he put him into a chokehold and he began to strangle Goku. Goku went and he kicked Broly right in the face as their battle has now begun. Paragus got up as he was angry at Goku and he tried to throw a blast towards him but Piccolo went and kicked him down while Broly and Goku were going at it. Goku went and kicked him in his face as Broly got sent flying meters away but from there he began to get really angry. Broly then saw that Paragus was trying to attack Piccolo but Piccolo went and stabbed him in his chest. Upon seeing that got Broly really angry as he couldn't control his emotion and when Goku saw that, that his anger was coming out of his father, Goku went and threw a blast towards Paragus as it killed him right there. <laughs> now show me what you got mortal, I want to see your real power. Broly has now transformed into his Super Saiyan as he went and decked Goku in the face and from there he followed and he started to beat the shit out of him. Piccolo came to help but Goku told him not to as it was all part of Goku's plan. Broly then went and powered up an eraser cannon and aimed it right towards Goku as it hit him head on and he was badly hurt but from there they all saw that Goku looked towards him and said, You're an amazing fighter, however, your step is still too weak. Goku. You sure you need help? Look at you, you're badly hurt! Goku saw that he was bleeding as he took his blood and he tasted it and said, <laughs> It isn't a battle without blood and raging heartbeat! I love this! Everyone saw that Goku's body has automatically healed as he recovered right there and from there he had a huge boost to his power. Piccolo was confused while Broly went and charged towards Goku and he tried to hit him again but with that, Goku went and kicked him as he saw that it did nothing so he went and screamed. Goku has now transformed into his Super Saiyan Rose as he went and charged towards Broly and decked him right in his face. Broly was getting angry with Goku that Goku was able to hit him and therefore he didn't want to let Goku have the upper hand so he went and screamed. <laughs> Upon seeing Broly's new transformation, he managed to go and transform into his legendary Super Saiyan. Not bad, 
Here, I thought that you have finally reached your end, but looks like you still got more dancing within you. Okay then, come at me with everything you got. Broly went and charged towards Goku as he began to go and attack him non-stop, but Goku was dodging his attack when each and everything he was doing, he saw that Broly was getting stronger as he noticed that this Saiyan is completely different from any other Saiyan, but it was nothing that Goku couldn't handle since he was invincible. Broly then made the same mistake as he went and powered up an eraser cannon and aimed it towards Goku. And once when it hit Goku head on, Broly came right behind him and decked him in his back, getting Goku to fall to the ground. But when Goku got up, he began to recover again, as he can feel a huge boost coming towards him and from there Goku went and rushed right towards Broly as both of their power clashed with one another. While they were fighting, the entire atmosphere of planet Vampa was changing. But Goku and Broly were too fixated on attacking one another and they were trying to go for the kill. You're a great mortal, but you shouldn't get this excited. No mortal can be this strong. I'll have to do something about this. Broly then went and powered up a blast from his mouth, while Goku went and he powered up a blast from his hand and aimed it towards Broly. Once when the blast hit Broly, Broly then went right towards Goku as he saw that Broly was still getting stronger, but Goku smiled and from there he went and kneed Broly in his face three times punched him in his stomach and kicked him towards the ground. Broly got up as he tried to do the same thing again but he saw that Goku powered up a black Kamehameha wave and he aimed it right towards Broly as it hit him head on and from there Broly fell to the ground as he had trouble getting up. Goku came right next to Broly as he picked him up by his hair and he punched him in his stomach. Broly saw that he was being powerless to do anything against Goku but Goku on the other hand looked like he had a lot more power within him as he was ready to go and put an end towards Broly. From there Goku went and one shot Broly to the ground. Piccolo saw that Goku went and powered up a blast as he was waiting for Broly to wake up and when Broly opened his eyes he saw that Goku's blast was right at his face as he was getting ready to kill If you haven't already subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button now so you can join the Z fans and anytime later on you feel like this isn't your channel, you could always unsubscribe. Goku went towards Broly as he was powering up a blast to end his life and before he can aim it towards him, Broly was in his base as he woke up and when he saw Goku with the blast on his face he then said, as much as I hate Mortal and I want to kill you, I could see that your power will be a very use for me. Why do you say you join me in my crusade? My job is to end all mortals life, either you join me or you die right here, the choice is yours. You killed my father, he had to die, and you're destined to die too but you can live, if you want to stay with me, you act like you cannot die, you could die too, is that so, I want you to see this. Goku went and he stabbed him himself in his hand, with his god slicer, as he then removed it and Broly saw that Goku has instantly healed. I'm a god, I cannot die, and if you value your life, it'll be wise you be with me otherwise you'll die too mortals just like the rest of the mortals here. The Namekians with me and now you can have a chance to be with me too. I don't want to die, so I guess I'll join you. Goku then gave his hand to Broly as they shook each other's hand and from there, they have now left the planet as Goku went and Kai Kai them to planet earth where they do all their plannings. While they were there. The Kai's got very worried seeing that Goku was on a rampage killing everyone in the universe as they already lost almost half of the mortals inside this universe. Supreme Kai didn't know what to do as they saw that they had no stand against Goku and if they tried to go fight him, they wouldn't stand a chance against him. And so the only option Supreme Kai had was to go and Kai Kai to Beers the Destroyer world and try to get him to be awake. On Earth, Goku and Piccolo and Broly were discussing about their next target as they noticed that the mortal level was very less and that it was going according to plan. With that, Goku said, I think it's time we get the gods on our side. What do you mean? I mean the Supreme Kai. We need to get them to join us and eliminate all the mortals too and carry out our Project Zero Mortals. By going there, they will have a chance to see just how amazing this opportunity is to erase all mortals. And this universe is just the beginning guys. We are gonna go to the next universe and do Project Zero Mortal there and so on. With that Goku went and he took everyone and Kai Kai them to Supreme Kai's world. 
While he was doing that, inside Beerus World, Whis, his attendant, was watching everything that was going on and even saw that his fellow angel, Mirus, has died and from there he decided to go towards Beerus and decided to get him to be awake so that he can handle the situation. Whis then went to where Beerus was sleeping and said, Lord Beerus, it is time for you to get up now. The universe won't be intact anymore if you don't take any action. Ugh, Whis, what the hell are you talking about? I'm afraid is exactly what I'm saying. There's hardly any mortal left in this universe. What? What are you saying, Weez? It's exactly what I'm saying, my lord. Beerus, you took your time to sleep and now look what happened. The entire universe is facing this crisis. And it's all because of this one Saiyan that's going on a killing spree, wiping out anyone that comes in his way. He has even killed Frieza and his entire army. What? A Saiyan? And that is not all, my lord. He is at the sacred world of the Kai as we speak. Wait, we need to go now, you know what happens. I do, my lord. Let's get going. While Whis and Beerus were trying to make their way towards the Supreme Kai's world, Goku has already arrived there as Supreme Kai saw Goku and he looked towards him and said, Hello Kai, I have a proposal for you. I don't want to hear anything from you. I have nothing to do with you. Aww, don't be so salty Kai. After all, we're both God, you and me. We need to make sure the universe is eradicated with mortals. After all, they're the reason why most of stuff has happened bad inside the universe. By killing the innocent is called knowing their place? How can you justify that? And you say you're a god? It is simple. The weak dies while the strong lives. You see these two mortals behind me? They are the strong one. They're willing to join me, that's why they're still living. And you also have a choice. Goku went and aimed a death beam towards Kapito Kai and from there he has died right there. Join me, and together we can create a new world, otherwise reject this idea and you will die right here. The choice is yours, Kai. Broly went towards the old Kai as he picked him up and slammed him towards the ground, while Piccolo went and shined a blast towards him and the old Kai has died, leaving Supreme Kai the only Kai in this planet. Supreme Kai didn't know what to do as he had to reject the offer since he does have his own morals of how to live life. Doing so got Goku really upset as he looked towards him with anger and said, You really are one helpless fool. By saying no to me, you have just brought more pain on yourself. It's time for you to die, Kai. As he went and he surrounded his hand with his god slicer, and from there he was about to go and cut down Supreme Kai. And just when he was about to do it, he saw that someone went and caught his hand with the cat mitten, as it was no one other than Beerus the Destroyer. I may have just made it in time. It is time for you to know Terra and end here. Hakai. Before Beerus can Hakai Goku, Goku saw that someone came behind him as they grabbed onto his neck and from there he saw that it was another Goku. Beerus was surprised to see that how did Goku manage to get there and he saw it was just an after image that he was holding onto. While the real one looked towards Beerus and said, I knew your lazy ass would have come here if the Supreme Kai's life was in danger and I predicted exactly what I thought. I want to end your life Beerus. Is that so? And how do you know about me? You're a destroyer, and I'm a killer of all mortals, but I'm willing to change that. If you manage to end my life here and now, what do you say, destroyer? Wanna die by my hands? If not, then you have to go and attack me first. Beerus went and he elbowed Goku in his face, getting to be sent flying away. From there, he saw that Beerus has come right next to him, as he went and tried to Hakai him, but from there, Piccolo and Broly saw that Goku got hit by the Hakai, and he began to disappear. Broly went and he powered up, as he has now transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan. Yeah! With that, Broly went and charged towards Beerus and he began to attack him. Beerus saw Broly coming out of nowhere as he tried to hold on to Broly's fist but Broly had a lot of force within him as he went and strike Beerus in his stomach and he began to attack him. Beerus then went and began to use more power as he was able to match with Broly and they were going at it as their power clashed with each other. Beerus was impressed with Broly's power as he had never seen a Saiyan being this strong and from there he went and headbutt Broly but he came right back towards him and striked him leaving Beerus have no choice but to go and use his full power. Oh 
Okay, Sang, you got me there. I'll have to go all out to end you. I first ended your friend and now you're next. With that, Beerus was about to go and charge towards Broly. But from there, he heard that Goku went and screamed. <laughs> Goku has now transformed into his Super Saiyan Rose, as Beerus was completely surprised along with Broly and Piccolo, and from there Goku said, Surprised to see how I'm alive? <laughs> it is because I'm a true god. You can thank the Super Dragon Balls for that. I have wished to become invincible. I am not affected by your city, little Hakai. The power of destruction can come close to what I am. What you say, Destroyer? Let's see how strong you are now. Ready to fight me at my full power? You bastard! You wished yourself to be superior with the Super Dragon Balls, huh? Very well, then looks like I'll have to end you and undo the wish. <laughs> you silly kitty cat! I destroyed the Super Dragon Balls. There's nothing you can do. What? Beerus has now learned the bad news that Goku won and he destroyed the Super Dragon Balls and therefore no one can ever undo any wish or even use the Dragon Balls because he managed to go and destroy all the Dragon Balls that were in this universe. With that, Goku and Beerus were staring at one another as they're ready to go and settle down to see who will win this battle. Even with the Hakai Wave, Goku can't be killed. Since that is a bunch of energy destruction trying to hit you, Goku was able to survive it and recover instantly. With that, they both went and charged towards one another, and they striked each other. Goku went and punched Beerus as he went and caught Goku's fist, and from there he tried to twist it, but before he can, Goku went and kneed Beerus in the nose. Broly and Piccolo are watching this battle very closely, as they're very intrigued on what was going on. Since this is the very first time they're witnessing the power of a destroyer versus Goku, who is something that cannot be beaten. Piccolo has just learned that Goku went and used the Super Dragon Balls to make himself invincible. Goku went and kicked Beerus while Beerus went and punched him and they both got sent flying away. When they both got up, they went and charged towards each other and they were going at it. Beerus went and began to throw a lot of blasts towards Goku while Goku went and used his body as his shield and he began to recover, giving him to be stronger and getting a Zankai boost. As he was trying to do whatever he can to keep up with Beerus but he saw that Beerus' power was far better than any fighter that he has fought this far. With that, Beerus began to go and use more power as he started to go and beat the shit out of Goku, but Goku was able to counter his attack and said, How about we take it to the next level? Huh? What are you talking about? Beerus saw that Goku went and used his god slicer, and he ended up creating something called Sackle of Sorrow, as he used his anger to make that attack and he ended up creating a giant scythe. Now destroyer, let's see you attack me with this. Beerus went and charged towards Goku, but he saw that Goku went and slashed the scythe in the air as he ended up creating a giant rift. And in the middle of the sky, they saw that a portal has opened, and they also saw multiple Goku has emerged out of the portal. And they came surrounding Beerus as they're all inside their Super Saiyan Rose. Goku stood by as he was watching all of them attacking Beerus, and from there they went and started to attack him, punch him, kick him, and do everything they can to hit him. And from there, Beerus had to go and use all of his power and said, Not bad Saiyan, but I can go all out too, it's time I go and use my full power. Behold! Beerus has now used his Ultra Instinct. As Goku saw that his power had skyrocketed, and with that, he easily went and started to beat the shit out of all the Goku that were there. But they kept coming and attacking him. It was like an endless battle until Goku removed them. Since Goku had a plan, but before his plan can play out, Beerus went and strike Goku in the face as he followed him and he started to attack him non-stop. Goku saw that he was powerless against Beerus since Beerus was using his Ultra Instinct power and that his Super Saiyan Rose stood no chance. Goku then noticed that his body was recovering as he had more power and from there he said, 
Thanks to fighting with you, I was able to get much stronger. It's time I show you my power then. <laughs> Goku has now transformed into his Super Saiyan Rose evolution. As he was able to go beyond his Super Saiyan Rose, and from there he went and charged right towards Beerus and striked him, getting to be sent flying away. Goku followed as Beerus got up, and when he saw that Goku was trying to attack him, Goku instantly came right behind him and kicked him in his back. As he grabbed onto Beerus' tail and he swung it around and threw him towards the ground. Beerus noticed that Goku's power is far stronger than before and that the transformation he has took made him a lot stronger than he was and he even harder with Beerus inside his Ultra Instant. With that, Beerus went and rushed towards Goku and they were going at it. While Goku was trying to take down Destroyer from Universe 7, Universe 6 Destroyer Champa, who is also Beerus' brother, got the news that Beerus was fighting with another deity and that he was about to lose. Champa asked Vados to tell him everything that happened while Goku vs Beerus was about to go to an end. Beerus was losing energy while Goku was kinda in the same boat but from there Goku took advantage of his health. As he saw that Beerus tried to do everything he can to maintain his power and when he rushed towards Goku, Goku began to dodge all of his attack. Even at Ultra Instinct, Beerus was slowing down compared to Goku. Since Goku was invincible and Beerus wasn't, Goku went and took advantage and he started to attack Beerus. He went and kneed him in his face as he picked him up by his ears and threw him towards the ground. When Beerus got up, he saw that Goku rushed towards him as he tried to kick him but he missed. But from there, Beerus went and punched Goku, getting to be sent flying high in the air. You're not bad, Saiyan, but there's no way I'm going to lose. <laughs> they all say that before they die. If you think you can win, let's see you stop this. Goku went and he powered up a massive black Kamehameha wave and aimed it right towards Beerus. Beerus saw the wave come towards him and he knew that if it hits him he can die and so he went and put every energy he had in his fiber and he powered up a large wave and he aimed it towards Goku's Kamehameha wave as both of the wave clashed with one another. It was a wave battle until Goku made the wave get dispersed creating a huge light smoke and once when the smoke cleared Beerus saw that Goku came right in front of him and said it's over. Goku went and stabbed Beerus right in his heart with his god slicer as he managed to cut his heart down and from there Beerus felt his life was slipping as he fell straight to the ground and he began to die. Goku looked towards him before Beerus can die and said, You played your cards wrong kitty cat and because of that you have died. <coughs> you won't prevail, mark my words saying, you're going to lose. As Goku went and he shined a blast towards Beerus and said, It would appear I'm the stronger deity here, now die. Goku killed Beerus with his blast. With that, Supreme Kai has also died. Goku has now killed his destroyer, as he is the first person to ever kill a destroyer, and from there his power has increased a lot due to the fact that Beerus did attack Goku a lot and gave him a lot of damage towards his body, but because he is invincible, he has instantly recovered and he gained a huge Zenkai boost. But the major benefit of fighting with Beerus with an invincible body was that Goku was able to achieve a new power called Super Saiyan Rose Evolution. The news went about everywhere how Beerus died and that it spread fast in the multiverse. But with this news, they had no idea that it was Goku who killed Beerus. While Goku went right back to his base and from there he was out of energy as he has passed out. Broly and Piccolo took Goku and they stayed on the Supreme Kai's world waiting for him to recover. After a few days or so, Goku has now got up as he has now gained all of his powers back. But due to the fact that he did use so much power at once, it did kind of affect his mortal body. But once when he healed, Goku made a decision to now go and slay all the destroyers and end their life since they will get in the way of Project Zero Mortal and that once when he kills all the destroyers, he will then go and kill all the mortals, being only him to be the ruler of the multiverse. He also had plans of getting other mortals to join his crusade like he has Piccolo and Broly so that they could be a help since it will be a big mission to go around the multiverse and kill all the mortals that are there. With that, they are getting ready to begin their crusade but before they can, they have to go and finish off the job as they need to go and kill the rest of the mortals that are inside this universe. 
Goku says that there's only a few mortals left inside the new rumors that are alive, including Moro, as he has now finished gaining his new power and he has regained his youth, but that's not all. Moro was ready to go take to the next level. 73. I'm gonna need you by my side, never know when that mortal saying is going to appear. Because one thing for sure is that that Goku guy, he is very strong. And if I want to kill him, I'm gonna need your full power. You got it, Lord Moro. Why don't you just go and kill Goku yourself and take his power? Not a bad idea. I think I'll do that. As Moro has now set a course to where Goku is, so he can go and end his life by giving him a surprise attack, since Goku didn't see Moro coming. And he has no idea how Moro looks like when he has now regained his youth. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button now so you can join the Z fans and anytime later on you feel like this isn't your channel, you could always unsubscribe. Goku has now kai kai everyone to Earth as he got there and planet Earth was their home base. With that, they have now begun planning on how they will go and end the rest of the destroyers since their main goal is to now stop them because they know that the destroyers will come in their way to stop them from killing the mortals. Goku came up with a plan that if they kill the Supreme Kai, the destroyer will die too. That is the easy way but that is also their trump card as Goku prefers to go and fight them instead just so he could have a good workout and despite the fact that he is Zamasu, he still has the Saiyan mind inside him and therefore he prefers to fight over winning the easy way. While they were busy planning, out of nowhere they saw a lot of spaceship has now arrived to planet earth as all those spaceships belong to no one other than Moro who has now arrived to planet earth in a search for Goku. Once when Moro has arrived to planet earth he was surprised to see just how badly earth has become and the condition of it looks completely bad and rotten as the atmosphere for planet earth was very dark and from there Goku and everyone was able to sense his power. It would appear Moro has come here. <laughs> and he's definitely different, let's see what he wants. As they have now all arrived to where Moro was. Once when they got there, Goku saw Moro and said, Has been a while, Moro. Hmm, likewise, Goku. You still look the same. I can't say the same about you. You definitely changed. Wait, you're that goat from the jail cell, aren't you? What the hell happened to you? You look so different. Ah, Namekian shouldn't talk. And by the way, I'm here because I'm able to regain my youth. And just like I told you Goku once again my youth, you will see me again. But that is not all. I also have a trump card. Is that so? Well then from the way you sound and talk it looks like you want to fight me. I see you never want to be on my side, that's fine with me. I guess you chose to die over your own pride. <laughs> You're a fool. I never bow down to anyone, especially a Saiyan. If anything I'll make you bow down to me. Broly went and he rushed towards Moro and striked him, but Moro managed to go and catch his fist and he began to absorb Broly's power. With that, Piccolo was about to go and hit him but 73 came and hold on to Piccolo's arm and he began to steal his power. Goku on the other hand went and he screamed. As Goku has now transformed into his Super Saiyan Rose Evolution. With that, he went and struck Moro in his face. Moro got up as he saw that Goku came right in front of him and he went and punched him again. While that was happening, Moro decided to go and power up his key as he released an energy blast towards Goku, but from there, Goku went and crushed a blast like it was nothing as he went and kicked him and it got Moro to be sent flying easily away. Moro saw that he was no match for Goku, especially with the power he is right now, but he did come prepared as he has a trump card and therefore Moro decided to go and fuse with 73. Since he's not dumb, he knows that Goku was the one who killed Beerus the Destroyer. With that, Moro came towards 73 and he has absorbed him as he has now become one. <laughs> now you foolish Saiyan, 
You think you can beat me? Huh? You're not different, but your power may have gotten a lot stronger. But it's still nothing that I cannot handle, mortal. Broly and Piccolo went and they tried to attack Moro, but he managed to go and watch out both of them to the ground, as his power level has increased a lot. Moro then looked towards Goku as he said, So, you want to fight me now, Saiyan? Or have you learned your lesson too? <laughs> you wish, mortal, there's no way I'm ever going to back down to you. Well then, you want to know a secret? Ever since you fought with that Galactic Patrol officer, I was able to steal some of his key and convert it into mines, and with that, I am able to use this power. This is my own power now, let me show you. All thanks to that Galactic Patrol, I am now this powerful. What? Unbelievable. Never thought an immortal can increase his power this much. What the hell is this? It is called the power of absorbing energy. Shh. <laughs> That's exactly what I can expect from a lowly creature like you. That is why I have decided to do Project Zero Mortals and all of their life. You talk so much, Saiyan. You act like you're going to win this battle, but you're actually going to lose. Come and see where you stand against me. With that, Goku went and he charged towards Moro. As he tried to hit him, but Moro went and he unleashed pressure, getting Goku to be sent flying towards the rocks. When Goku got up, Moro went and rushed towards him as he picked him up and he threw him in the air. And with that, he uses key pressure to attack Goku, getting his body to feel like his bone is about to be crushed. But from there, Goku went and instantly healed it away, as he is invincible. With that, Goku went and powered up a Kamehameha wave to kill Moro and said, It's time I end your life. He then aimed the wave towards Moro. But once when the wave came towards him, Moro went and caught the wave and said, Please, is this all you can do? It's nothing. I'll be the one to end you. Goku went and unleashed another Kamehameha wave and aimed it towards Moro. And when he hit Moro, Moro managed to go and power up a blast as he aimed it towards Goku's wave. And from there, both of their waves was getting clashed with one another as they were trying to overpower one another. Moro saw that Goku was out of breath as he began to laugh and say, <laughs> Now it's time I guess you get to bow down towards me. Brawly got up as Piccolo did too and they saw that Moro was able to beat Goku and from there, he went and powered up another blast and aimed it towards everyone. As this blast was strong enough to kill Goku and from there when the blast went and hit Goku head on, Goku got up and said, Not bad, but after fighting with Beerus and seeing him use the power, I was able to copy the same move he can. Moro saw that Goku instantly recovered all of his wound as he looked towards him and said, let me show you a power which only a god can use. <laughs> Goku has now used his Ultra Instinct for the very first time. Upon seeing that got Moro to react with fear and said, how are you able to use this power? I'm a god, you foolish mortal. With that, Goku went and wiped out the blood that was leaking from his eyes, and from there he ran and rushed towards Moro and said, It's time I make you bleed. You made a god bleed, you'll see what it means to have a battle with the true god. <laughs> you wish. Before Moro can finish his sentence, Goku went and kicked him right in his stomach, getting him to gasp for air, and from there he went and punched him in his face as he flew meters away. When Moro got up, he saw that Goku was already there, as Goku went and kicked him high in the air. Moro managed to go and stop himself and said, What the hell are you? How are you able to do this? And come towards me before I couldn't even see anything! You should have continued to be loyal towards me, Moro, but you messed up and now it's time for you to die. I'm gonna end you and the rest of the mortals here and now. Goku went and charged towards Moro, while Moro went and powered up a blast to kill Goku, but Goku easily went and dodged it instantly. With that, Moro got very angry as he began to go and rush towards Goku and he used 100% of his power, doing everything he can to hit Goku, but Goku dodged each and every one of Moro's attack like if they were nothing. Seeing that Moro didn't stand a chance against Goku got Moro to start thinking of what he can do and therefore he decided to go and absorb Goku's power so that he can get himself to be as strong as Goku. 
Goku know that that was his dirty move, as Moro went and tried to grab onto Goku's leg, but from there Goku went and used his god slicer and said, <laughs> It won't work on me, Moro. Now it's time for you to die. Goku went and cut Moro's hand off, as he used his god slicer and he stabbed him right in his heart, and from there he went and unleashed a Kamehameha wave, as it killed Moro head on and he died right there. Moro, after absorbing 73, made himself to be a very strong opponent, but Goku on the other hand, after using the power called the Ultra Instinct, which he saw Beerus use and he was able to now tap into that power, he put an end towards Moro like if he was nothing. Goku has now defeated Moro, as he managed to show the difference between his power and Moro. Despite the fact that Moro went and absorbed some of Mirus' power, Goku at his Ultra Instinct was far superior to him. With that, Goku went and killed the remaining army of Moro, as they were mortals and from there, the Moro chapter has now closed. Goku from the start knew that Moro would eventually come and fight him, and so he was kinda prepared you can say for Moro. With that, Goku saw that the Universe 7 Mortal was 90% wiped out and only 10% remains. And he knew that the 10% of Universe remains were coming far from the East, and so he went and made his way towards the East Cardron. Once when he has arrived, he has now begun the killing with Broly and Piccolo, as they're all doing everything they can to go and kill anyone that comes in their way so they can continue on their Project Zero Mortal. While doing that, a man who was the only survivor of the Syrian race was making his way towards a planet. The planet had the last remaining Dragon Ball, and when he got there, he saw that the man went and used the Dragon Balls and wished to become the strongest, but from there, Goku went and shined the blast towards the Dragon Ball, as he now has destroyed the last remaining Dragon Ball inside the universe, or you can say in the multiverse. With that, he went and confronted the man and said, Tell me, mortal, what did you wish for with the Dragon Ball? My name is Granola. I am the last remaining Cerulean in my race, and my one only goal is to kill all the Saiyans. Oh, I see. Well, sorry to burst your bubble, but I'm actually in a mission of racing all mortals in the multiverse, and I'm also a Saiyan too, you filthy mortal. You're a Saiyan? Well, you made it easy for me to hunt you. I'll kill you where you stand. As Granola went and rushed towards Goku, and from there he went and tried to hit him, but Goku went and blocked it as he punched Granola in his face, and from there, Granola saw that Goku is a real deal, and if he wants to survive, he has to use his full power from the start. Granola went and began to power up as he rushed right towards Goku and he tried to attack him in his vital spot. Once when he hit Goku in his vital spot, Goku fell to the ground as he puked up blood and from there Granola and he was about to land the finishing blow but from there Broly went and he screamed. Broly has now transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan, as he went and rushed right towards Granola and he decked him in his face. Granola got up and saw that Broly was attacking him and he didn't know how to dodge his attack, but from there, he decided to go and use a decoy, and so he can attack Broly in his final spot. Broly fell for it as he went and started to attack the decoy, but when he saw that it wasn't responding, the real Granola had to appear right before him, as he went and hit Broly in all of his vital spot getting Broly to fall on his knees. With that, Granola went and he was about to attack Broly again, but from there Goku went and caught his fist and said, not so fast, as he went and screamed. Goku has now transformed into his Super Saiyan Rose Evolution, as he went and rushed right towards Granola and punched him across his face, getting Granola to fall to the ground. When Granola got up, he saw that Goku came right in front of his super speed, as he continued to attack him non-stop. Granola then saw the difference between Goku and his power and therefore he tried to go and use more power, as he removed the eye patch that he was wearing, and from there he began to have a huge boost towards his power level. 
Goku saw that as Granola went and powered up a blast, which he aimed from his hand and when it hit towards Goku, he let the blast hit him head on, as Granola felt that he hit his mark, but from there, Goku began to laugh and say, You're a fool! You think you're able to hit me? Let me tell you one thing, no one can ever hit me unless I want them to. I've allowed you to hit me just so I can recover like this. Granola saw that Goku has instantly recovered his wound after taking any hit from Granola. Granola was speechless as he had no idea just what the hell Goku is and how he was able to do that. From there, Goku went and charged and punched him right across his face as he flew meters away and Goku charged towards him and grabbed him again and he continued to attack him non-stop. Granola was angry that Goku was overpowering him and that his plan of getting his revenge on the Saiyans was coming close to an end and so he decided to go and use everything he had on the table as he has now transformed and used his final form. This is my true power, it is all thanks to the Dragon Ball. I see, so you use the Dragon Balls to make yourself stronger, huh? Such a weak move by a mortal. But for your luck, I have also done the same. Huh? What do you mean done the same? I have also used the Super Dragon Balls, and you already saw what happened. No matter how much you attack me, it won't even affect me at all. Granola was speechless while Goku went right back to his base, and from there he began to glow and said, let me show you what I got, mortal. <laughs> Goku has now used his Ultra Instinct. Granola had no idea just what Goku did and how he was able to use his power, but he saw that Goku was glowing as Goku stared right towards him with that evil eyes. Why don't we put an end to this battle once and for all, what you say, mortal? You have a grudge against me, right, I'm a Saiyan? Well, I have a grudge against all the mortals, so let me carry out my mission. Goku went and charged towards Granola, as Granola put up his guard, but he saw that Goku was too fast, as he came instantly right behind him and kneed him right in his spine. Before Granola could fall to the ground, Goku came right in front of him, as he went and picked him up and punched him, and he continues up for some time. Ganola, the mortal Syrian who had nothing but revenge on his mind since the Saiyan race did remove everyone that he cared about and wiped out his race, he had nothing but vengeance on his mind, but he had no idea that he was fighting with a deity who was Goku, and at the same time Goku wasn't your ordinary deity, he was the deity who managed to go and even use the Super Dragon Balls to become invincible. How can you be someone with that type of power, especially the fact that he's a Saiyan? Gives Goku the huge boost that he has ever had before, as Goku went and started to beat the shit out of Granola. Despite the fact that Granola went and used 100% of his power, he tried to charge towards Goku, but Goku easily went and dodged all of those attacks, since he was just toying with Granola, but he decided to go offensive mode and go for the kill, as he went and powered up his fist, and from there Goku went and charged towards Granola and tried to go for the kill. Granola saw that Goku was aiming for his heart, and so he went and started to dodge each and every one of Goku's move. And with that, Granola managed to go and stab Goku right in his vital spot. But when he did, he saw that Goku instantly recovered and healed himself and said, You see? That's why it's futile for you to fight me. It's because I'm invincible. I can never die. It's time that you learned the hard way. You have sealed your fate since the moment you wanted to fight me. Now let me show you how to stab someone properly. Goku went and he powered up his God Slicer in his Ultra Instinct as he instantly came right in front of Granola and from there he went and stabbed him right in his chest. Granola tried to resist but Goku wouldn't allow him as Goku continued to stab him and from there he went and pulled out his heart as Granola fell to the ground and he died right there. Goku has yet again defeated another mortal who managed to do what Goku did and that is use us Dragon Balls to make himself stronger but he did not wish to become invincible while Goku went and killed Granola, and from there, Project Zero Mortal has been completed for Universe 7. With that, Goku went right back to his base, as he went to where Piccolo and Broly was and said, Guys, we did it. This universe has no more mortals living. Now let's make our way towards the next one. I say Universe 6 will be a good start. What? Why that universe, Goku? It is because that's the parallel version of this universe. 
That means there's another version of me there. Let's go, I want to see that mortal. As Goku and everyone has agreed to go and make their way towards Universe 6. While that was happening, far in the galaxy of the multiverse, at a place called Zeno Palace, the king of everything, his attendant, the right hand man, and you can say the father of all angels was watching everything that was happening in Universe 7. As he could see that that universe had no more mortals and said, this isn't good. He has now wiped out everyone from Universe 7 and now he's making his way towards Universe 6. I knew he was dangerous from the start, father. That is why I told him about you. Well, we've seen what happened with Mirrors. He tried to fight him and unfortunately he died. That's a lesson for all angels. We unfortunately are not allowed to get involved with mortal matter. But if worse comes to shove and if he continues this up, Lord Zeno might let us go and deal with him. I'm afraid if we don't do anything right now, Weez, it'll be the end of the multiverse. This mortal is very sick. He wants to kill anyone that comes in his way. I'm gonna go and inform Vados about this. That way she has everything prepared. You better do that. To think this Saiyan is that strong to even destroy the Super Dragon Ball. I can sense something bad is going to happen. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button now so you can join the Z fans and anytime later on you feel like this isn't your channel, you could always unsubscribe. Goku has now arrived to Universe 6 as he can sense that they have some powerful mortals and with that he decides to go and Kai Kai to the planet called Planet Sidala, the home planet of the Saiyans. Once when he got there, everyone began to look around as they were surprised to see the planet and from there, Goku said, it doesn't matter where we are, we will still end them all and put an end to this once and for all. Project Zero Mortal continues here. With that, they began doing the killing as they started to slaughter all the Saiyans that were there. Goku went and he made his way towards the King Palace as he saw the King of all Saiyans and with that he went and cut him down. He then went and continued to attack someone else but before he can, someone came and threw a blast towards him and when he turned around he saw it was no one other than Kefla. A fusion of two Saiyans known as Khalifa and Kel. As Vados has arrived there along with Hit, the Assassin, Frost and even Kaba. Goku saw them as he began to laugh and say, <laughs> Looks like the cavalry has finally arrived. So you're the universe hitter. A what? That's the name you're given by the gods. They are aware of you. It's time we put an end towards this. Kafla went and she began to transform as she is now transformed into her Super Saiyan Blue. Another reason why I hate mortals, trying so hard to be like God. With that, Kefla went and charged right towards Goku, but before she can hit him, Broly went and he screamed. Broly has now transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan as he went and strike Kefla and she flew meters away. With that she charged right towards him and she tried to hit him but Kefla got kicked in the guts and from there Broly went and started to punch her in her face non-stop. He then went and took her by a leg and smashed her towards the ground. While he was fighting with her, Hit the assassin went and he rushed towards Goku but Piccolo stepped in and he began to attack Hit as they were going at it. Goku went and he cut down Kaba while Frost went and tried to attack him but Goku went and caught his fist and twisted it as he broke his arm off and from there he went and shined a blast killing Frost right there. Seeing how weak they are got Goku to be upset and said, this is a disappointment, I wanted a battle but looks like it won't happen the way I wanted. Oh well, to make it easier I thought I would come here to kill you guys. But instead, before he can finish his sentence Goku noticed that Vado staring at him with anger while Goku looked towards her and said, 
What's wrong? You want to fight with me and end up like the other angels too? I know exactly who you are. You are Vados the Angel for Universe 6. Looks like you have done your homework, but I also know that you feeble angels cannot get involved with mortal matter. It doesn't matter how powerful you guys are. At the end of the day, you cannot touch me. Otherwise, bye bye. That's exactly what happened to Miras. <laughs> but I can hit you! As Goku got decked in his face, and when he looked up, he saw it was Champa, the Universe 6 Destroyer. <laughs> they call you the Universe Hitter? And you also killed my brother, huh? I'm gonna kill you for that! <laughs> Looks like the fat ass wants to come and fight me! I was waiting for you! <laughs> You're the fool! You think you may be strong, but I have got some fighters to be stronger than you! After all, they did train with Vados! Oh, really? And which fighter are you talking about? The one that's getting beat by my guy as Broly's beating the shit out of Kefla? Or are you talking about the assassin that's standing right there? Fighting with Piccolo. With that, Champa saw that Broly was attacking Kafla nonstop as he went and threw her in the air and he powered up an eraser cannon and hit her head on, getting her to die from there. Hit in the other hand saw that Piccolo was at the same level as him, since Piccolo did do a lot of training with Goku while they were planning their operation and he has also absorbed pretty much the entire planet from Planet Namek, although the Namekians are with him, he was able to hold his own against Hit as he went and started to attack him nonstop. Head decided to go and put Piccolo in the time prison as he couldn't move and from there, Head decided to go and deliver the decisive blow towards Piccolo as he managed to go and kill him once and for all. Huh? So that weakling finally died, huh? Oh well, looks like it'll be less casualties for me. It's time to end this fat ass once and for all. <laughs> Goku has now transformed into his Super Saiyan Rose evolution. With that, Goku went and charged towards Champa as he striked him in his face and he got him sent flying meters away. Champa got up as he saw that Goku was right next to him and said, Is that all you got? This is also a real disappointment. <laughs> you fool! I have come prepared! I'm not an idiot like you! Or like that idiot Beerus! There's no way I will lose to you! Alone? As he got striked in his face by no one other, then Sidra. Sidra, the destroyer from Universe 9, has arrived as he looked towards Goku and said, So you're the universe hitter, huh? You want to kill us, God? I'll show you what we got. Goku got punched in the stomach by another god as he looked towards him and saw it was a female destroyer known as Hillies. I really hate mans that try to be so power hunger. It's a huge turn off. <laughs> Trust me, with a face like that you have, no one can ever get turned on by seeing that. No wonder you're still single. Goku, are you okay? I'll handle one of them. I'm fine. You go and take down Jumpa. I'll handle these two. Have it your way then. We're ready to destroy you. Ready, Sidra? I'm sure ready. Let's kick his ass. Before Goku can react, Sidra was already there as he went and said, Hakai, now die! Goku screamed as his body was shaking but from there he looked towards him and said, <laughs> Kidding! <laughs> you foolish destroyer! You cannot kill me with such a weakling move! But how... Th that makes no sense! As Hillies went and she powered up a Hakai wave and aimed it towards Goku. Goku let it hit him and from there it went and instantly recovered his body and said, you see? You guys cannot touch me. Let me educate you feeble destroyers. One fact is, I am invincible. A silly Hakai wave can never kill the body like me, and I can regenerate from it instantly. Do you even know what a Hakai is? It's destruction, an energy that is so powerful it can erase anything. But my body can withstand that destruction. It is all thanks to the Super Dragon Balls. I guess if we have to do this by brute strength then, 
as Sidra went and rushed towards Goku along with Hillies and they started to beat the shit out of him. While that was happening, Broly and Champa were going at it. As Champa didn't waste any time, he went and tried to push Broly away but Broly went and headbutt him, getting Champa to fly Peanuts away. With that, Broly followed as he continued to attack Champa but Champa went and powered up massive Hakai waves and aimed it towards Broly. Broly on the other hand decided to go and use his full power as he looked towards him and said, You're too weak destroyer, I'll easily end you, now behold this power! Broly has now transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan God. Since he was trained with Goku who is a god and continued to spar with him, Broly was eventually able to tap into God Ki as he is now able to go and transform to a Super Saiyan God legendary Super Saiyan. Champa couldn't believe what he was seeing as Broly went right towards him, striked him in his face and he started to beat the shit out of Champa as he didn't stand a chance against Broly and with that Broly went and powered up a massive Eraser Cannon and aimed it towards Champa. Champa tried hard to block it but he couldn't as he got hit by it and he has now died. Goku on the other hand was trying to do everything he can to hold his own against Sidra and Hillis but they continued to attack him and from there he smiled as he went right back to his base and said, Alright then, you guys really want to fight me? How about you come and fight me when I use my Ultra Instinct? What? How do you have that power? <laughs> you guys dance well, however, your steps are still too weak. Now let's see what he can do against my Ultra Instinct. Goku has now used his Ultra Instinct as he stared at the destroyers while they were impressed and said, You truly are a god! Otherwise you won't be able to use this power! Oh, of course I'm a god! I'm not just only a god, but I'm the god out of all the gods! You guys are nothing but fake! And that is why, after today, I have put a decision that I'm gonna put Project Zero Mortal on pause and do Project Zero Destroyer first! I'm gonna kill all the destroyers in the multiverse! And it all started with Beerus, and now it's going to be you two next! Hailey's and Sidra went and they rushed right towards Goku as they tried to strike him but Goku went and dodged both of their fists. With that both Sidra and Hailey's went and started to attack Goku non-stop trying to do everything they can to hit him but Goku was dodging each and every one of their attack like if it was just child's play. After all he was inside his ultra instinct move he was automatically dodging each and one of their attacks. You know after the attack you threw at me, it gave me a huge boost to my power and now I can end you all easily without even trying. That is the benefit of having a body of a Saiyan that is immortal. With that Goku went and kicked Sidra in his face while he went and punched Hilis away. Both of them went to send flying towards the ground and when they got up, they saw that Goku was smiling and said, This is fun, I want to end your guys and bathe in your blood. He has completely lost it. He's like a very sick, but don't worry Heelys, he's all talk, there's two of us, we can work together and end that bastard, never in the history have we had ever had two destroyers working together, and if we don't end him, all of this was pointless. You're right about that, let's go and give it our all and do everything we can to end him. If you all are done bickering with each other, how about I even the playing field? Goku went and he used his Sackle of Sorrow, as he managed to go and create a rift and from there. Four Goku has emerged out of it, and they are all inside their Ultra Instinct state. Since it is two versus one, now you'll know how it feels to have the playing field even. And I'm in a good mood, so tell me, do you want me to let them use Ultra Instinct or no? The choice is yours, but the result will still be the same. Back at Zeno's palace, Vados was there with Whis as they were watching the battle, and Dai Shiken looked towards him and said. I see he has changed his ways now, instead of killing the mortals he wants to first kill all the destroyers. But why would he do that father? It's because he feels that the destroyers will come in his way like right now, 
You see those two destroyers, they're trying to stop him. But my god, his powers continue to increase. After all, he is invincible. How can you defeat someone who's invincible and get stronger by each blow you give them? Father, we must do something. We cannot let him do that to the multiverse. Otherwise, everything will be ruined. Yes, I know, Vatos. But I have a feeling something bad is going to happen. But according to what I have, what he told Beerus was true. Goku truly did destroy the Super Dragon Balls, and now he also destroyed all the rest of the Dragon Balls that ever exist in the multiverse. He is very dangerous, but Lord Zeno can handle him, can he not? Indeed he can, but time will tell. Back on the battlefield, Goku went and he began to beat the shit out of them, as he didn't stand a chance against him, and with that he went and used his god Slicer and he cut Helis while the other went and cut Sidra down. And from there, the original Goku went and powered up a massive black Kamehameha wave and he aimed it at both of them as the wave went and hit them head on and they died right there. <laughs> this is fun fighting the gods, for sure I'm gonna persuade this path and go and end all the destroyers in the multiverse. And then I'll go and kill all the mortals. Broly, I see you finally transformed to your Super Saiyan God. Are you with me in this crusade? Sure, let's do it! I want to end him all myself! After destroying that fat destroyer, I could also feel how you feel. But just remember, although you're an impressive mortal, you're just a mortal. You can never be a god. Especially since I destroyed the Super Dragon Balls, otherwise I would have wished to make you a god too. With that, Goku went and he kai kai with Broly to Universe 1, where he has now arrived there and right in front of him, the destroyer was standing there, as he saw Goku and asked, Who are you? And why are you here? The last person that tried to come to my universe to fight was dead. With that, Goku has come right in front of him as he went and stabbed him right in his heart with his god Slicer and said, I'm here to end you and the rest of the gods. It's time you know your place, who you're facing. Goku then threw him in the air as Broly went and powered up an eraser cannon and aimed it towards it and he died right there. With that, Goku went to the next universe and did the same until he met with Universe 5 where he had to fight with a destroyer named Oroku. When Goku got there, both Goku and Broly noticed that the planet was empty as they had no idea why but they saw that no one was there and from there Goku went and he kai kai to Universe 10. That is the universe where Goku was from or you can say where Zamasu was from. Once when they got there, Goku then went and he began to search around as he wanted to go to see if Gosu was still alive and when he got to his world, he saw that Gosu was there drinking his tea and from there he went and grabbed onto him and began to choke him. Uh, who are you? How could you come here? It's been a while, master. Huh? How do I know you? You forgot who I am? It is me, Zamasu. Uh, Zamasu! Before Goku can kill him, Goku got punched in the face while Broly got punched in his face too and both of them sent flying towards the ground. Once when they got up, they saw that three destroyers were already at Zamasu's world, waiting for Goku to arrive, as it was a destroyer from Universe 10, Ramshi. The destroyer from Universe 5, Aruku. And Liquory from Universe 8, Destroyer. It's about time this universe hitter has come to us. I cannot wait to kill him. Hey, Aruku, make sure you don't get in the way. What are you talking about? You'll be in the way. And as for you, you try to come to my planet, huh? But I got the bad news about you, and I have set this plan with Rumshi and Liquory to come here so we can all jump your ass. <laughs> oh, really? You pathetic pest can do nothing to me. And also, Rumshi, do you know where I'm from? Huh? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> you foolish destroyer! You have no idea how powerful I am! I want to kill each and every one of you! Bring it on! But I'll tell you a little secret, Rumshi. I am Zamasu. What? Zamasu? You mean the one that was in Kai training? That is correct. I am him, you elephant. And now, look at the power I have. <music> Go!
Goku has now transformed into his Ultra Instinct. As he stared towards the destroyer wall, they were surprised and shocked to see that Goku was able to go and wield such power. Aruku and Ramshi went and stared towards Goku, while Broly went and he screamed. Broly has now transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan God as he went and rushed right towards Liquor and their battle has begun while Goku stared towards Rumshi and Aruku and said, Alright then, how about you two come versus me? We have said that our Haley's tried to attack me and they died, you two will be next. Ha! <laughs> We're not so weak like them! We're gonna make sure we end you once and for all, Zamasu! I'll love to see you try. With that, their battle has begun. While that was happening, Broly and Liquor were fighting one to one another as Liquor looked towards him and said, Just how the hell are you this strong? What the heck are you? I'm the legendary Super Saiyan. Don't you know I get stronger by the minute? Is that so? Well then, how about I show you my super speed? As Liquor went and he charged right towards Broly and he began to show his speed towards him. Broly couldn't see where he was coming from as he went and decked Broly in his face and Broly fell to the ground. Once when Broly got up, he came again and punched him. As Brawly couldn't see him coming, but from there Brawly went and begun to sense his power. As he could sense Liquid coming out from the west, and when he tried to attack Brawly, Brawly then went and grabbed onto his face and he slammed it towards the ground, as he had him in a choke slam. While that was happening, Goku's battle has now begun, as he went and rushed right towards Ramshi and he striked him in his stomach. But from there Aruka went and hold on to Goku, as he tried to attack him, but Goku went and did a backflip, getting him to fall to the ground and he slammed him towards the ground. Goku tried to use his god slicer to cut him down but from there Ramshi went and threw a Hakai wave towards Goku as he fell to the ground but he began to recover. He enjoyed the fact that they were continuing to throw a lot of ki blasts towards him. You foolish destroyer, don't you know that I could get stronger each time you attack me? Is that so? Well then let's see how much power you can handle of ours. They both went and charged towards Goku as they began to go and use their full power. With that they started to attack him non-stop. Goku knows that these two destroyers are far stronger than Haley's or even Sidra as Ramshi went and continued to attack Goku while Aruka went and continued to hit him non-stop and from there Aruka went and powered up an attack as he aimed it towards Goku. Ramshi went and powered up a Hakai wave and aimed it towards Goku and once when it came Goku began to laugh as he can feel that his body was creating a lot of steam and from there he stared towards him and said you guys made me a lot stronger how about I take it to the next level. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button now so you can join the Z fans and anytime later on you feel like this isn't your channel, you could always unsubscribe. Both Ramshi and Aruka went and they started towards Goku as they began to attack him but Goku can feel a lot of steam coming out of his body as he can feel that he's ready to go and take it to the next level but he saw that those two went and continued to attack him non-stop. Ramshi went and he tried to stab Goku as he managed to go and cut him right through his stomach while Aruku went and he powered up a blast and aimed it towards it. Goku fell to the ground but he saw that he recovered instantly as he began to have steam coming out of his body and he looked towards him and said, It is time I put an end towards you guys once and for all. The power of two destroyed, no doubt you guys can beat me. But since I'm invincible, it is futile. Now die! <laughs> Goku has now transformed into his Master Ultra Instinct. After having finally get the power he needed due to the fact that he was in his Ultra Instinct for a while and continued to fight a lot of battles through his Ultra Instinct power, he continued to go and grow and learn from his Ultra Instinct as he has now finally reached to the point where he can master it. 
This is Master Ultra Instinct Goku. With that, Goku stared towards Rumshi and said, Well then, Elephant, you wanna see if you wanna fight me in this day? But just know that you won't exist. I will erase you myself. <laughs> None of you guys are leaving here alive. But how is he able to master it? Only angels know how to use it to that extent. Well, like I told you, Rugrat, I'm the real definition of a god. You guys are nothing but amateurs compared to me. With that, Goku went and he rushed right towards Aruku as he striked him in his face and he got sent flying towards the ground. While that was happening, Broly and Lickery were going at it as Universe A Destroyer was doing everything he can to hold his own against Broly but he has never fought someone like Broly and said, you cannot expect to make it out here alive. <laughs> Please, did you ever face Goku? After you fight him, then you'll know what it means to fight true power. He's the reason why I continue to fight and owe him my life. I'm gonna do everything I can to kill you here and now. With that, Broly went and he choked Lickery and from there he threw him in the air as he powered up an eraser cannon and aimed it right towards him. He tried to go and dodge the attack but before he can, he saw that Broly came right next to him as he went and threw him towards the ground and he hit the attack right on his face and from there Lickery couldn't handle it so he ended up losing the battle as a blast went and wiped him out. Goku on the other hand has now achieved Master Ultra Instinct power and he's still testing out this power against the two destroyer. Uh, they both came charged towards him at once and they started to attack him with everything they got. But Goku went and blocked every one of their attack as he went and grabbed them to Rumshi's arm and he twisted it as he caused it to break and from there he went and kicked him away. Aruga went and tried to stab Goku but Goku went and caught his hand and said, That is my move. How dare you copy my attack you filthy destroyer. With that, Goku went and summoned his god Slicer and he slashed Aruku's arm off, getting him to fall to the ground as he was holding it with pain and from there Goku went and followed as he started to go and beat the shit out of Aruku. At the same time, Ramchi went and threw an Hakai wave towards Goku but it got dispersed with one hand and said, This is such a weak move. Don't ever think you can hurt me with such a weak move like this. Goku went and stabbed Aruku right in his heart as he had trouble breathing and from there he went and released a blast right towards him and he died right there. Goku then looked towards Rumshi and said, Alright Elephant, you're the last one to survive since you were my destroyer you can say. I still don't get how you're Zamasu, but whatever it is, I cannot lose. Rumshi went and he used 100% of his power as he began to glow and from there he went and charged towards Goku. Brody came to the battlefield as he saw what was happening but he saw that Goku was enjoying this battle too much so he did not want to interfere since Goku had that killer in his eyes that if anyone gets in his way, he will literally cut them down. With that, Rumshi went and started to attack Goku non-stop but Goku went and used only one arm as he continued to attack him back. Rumshi saw that he was being disrespected to the fact that Goku was only using one arm but Goku did told him that you're just a weak destroyer. How could you feel disrespected if you're not even close to my level? Let me show you then if you want me to use more power, I'll show you what it means to fight someone like me. Goku went and used more power as he managed to go and start to beat the shit out of Rumshi. Rumshi didn't stand a chance against Goku as he went and took his beak and he cut it with his god slicer, getting him hard to breathe and from there, Goku choked him to the ground as he looked towards him and said, any last word elephant? Before I go and kill you, I'm gonna go and make my way towards universe 11, since that is where you know. I heard the rumors that Immortal there is stronger than their own destroyer. Talk about how fun it'll be to cut him and his destroyer down. Huh, I do have one last word, tell me Zamasu, how did you become this? Alright then, if since you ask, I used the Super Dragon Balls. I first killed Goasu, took the time ring, and accidentally went back in the time, but I used the Super Dragon Balls to switch body with this Immortal, thus giving me the power to have this, and when it comes to my immortality, you could say I went and used the Super Dragon Balls yet again and wished to become invincible. That's why you see I can never die. Uh, Zamasu, how dare you! With that, Goku went and stabbed Rumshi repeatedly inside his stomach as he poured blood of blood and from there he went and powered up a blast and killed him once and for all. We did it Broly, only one destroyer remains. Let's go kill him, he's from Universe 11. I like that idea Goku. It's gonna be fun! Before leaving, Goku went and walked towards Goasu as Goasu was completely speechless and he had no idea what happened but from there he went and tried to strike Zamasu but from there Goku went and caught his fist and said, You saw what happened, how could you be stupid enough to try to fight me? I don't care Zamasu, I'm with everything I can to end you! Well then, 
How about you and yourself? Broly, you want to do the pleasure? Sure! Broly went and threw Gozu in the air as he powered up an eraser cannon and killed him with it. Nothing like old man's blood in the ground. Alright Broly, let's get going. With that, Goku went and kai kai Broly to Universe 11 as they have now arrived to that universe and from there they begun searching to see where is the strongest mortal that they are talking about. They then decided to go and kai kai right towards the destroyer's world and once when they got there Goku arrived with Broly but he saw that over there Vermont was sitting there looking towards them as they were confused on why the destroyer is so happy and he said, So you guys are Goku and Broly huh? <laughs> I know everything about you guys. It's a good thing I'm the last destroyer that still survived. <laughs> Here, I thought that I'll fight a decent destroyer, but looks like I have got someone like Pennywise. What a clown. With that, Goku and Broly saw two mortals has come right next to Vermont, as it was Topo, the next destroyer, and it was also Jaren, the Grey, who was known to be stronger than his own destroyer. <laughs> you made a bad mistake coming here. Like I told you, I was already informed about you and therefore Margarita was done training these two mortals. It's time for you guys to die. Jaren here is no ordinary fighter. He here is even as strong as you could say Margarita. Maybe I'm bluffing but he's still way stronger than all the destroyers. Jaren huh? So is this the weakling punk who's trying to destroy all the destroyers life? Well then, how about we end him ourselves? <laughs> you don't have to worry about ending no one. I'll end you myself! First things first, I'm gonna go and end your life, clown. And after that, I'll go and end this, this Jaren guy. <laughs> you wish. I would love to see you try. As Jaren stared towards Goku and he stared at him and from there they had a stare down. With that, Goku went and shined a huge blast. Something like you can say, the solar flare. Which created a huge bright light and from there he quickly went and kai kai to where Vermont was. As he took him and he kai kai him to the Supreme Kai's world. Vermont saw him and said, Who would have ever thought your speed is this fast? I told you, you're the last one. I need to end this after all. Once I do, I'll go and kill that mortal Jiren. Goku went and he transformed into his Super Saiyan Rose Evolution. <laughs> As he went right towards Vermont and from there he went and took out his god Slicer as he tried to cut him down. But from there he managed to go and block it as he countered it and punched Goku in his face. Goku went and charged towards him and their power clashed with one another. Vermont was very dangerous destroyer as he tried to go and kill him by his own with a lot of destroyer blast. With that the blast went and hit Goku head on as he saw that his body was halfly damaged but before he can do anything Goku managed to go and recover all of his wound. As his damage came right back to zero and from there he said, I am indestructible. No one can do nothing to me. I'll do whatever it takes to kill you myself now. Oh really? As Jaren went and dead Goku right in his face as he has now arrived to Supreme Kai's world with the help of Vados. While this was happening, Broly and Topo were ready to go and face each other to see who is the stronger one. Topo, the destroyer in training, or Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan, as Goku and Jaren are now about to go exchange blow with one another. Goku got up as he saw that Jaren has now arrived in the battlefield and that he was the one who striked Goku away. Goku then smiled and said, Not bad. To think that you're as strong as this, just wait until I get serious. What do you say we sell this once and for all? After that, I'll go and get the clown. You are not going to be hurting any more mortals. I'll stand by them and end you myself. As Goku went and he rushed right towards Jaren, but Jaren went and countered his attack and punched him right in his face. With that, Goku got up and saw that Jaren was already there, as he managed to go and throw Goku away, but with that, Goku went and powered up a massive black Kamehameha wave and he aimed it at him, as the wave went and hit him head on. 
Once when the smoke cleared, Goku saw that Jiren's body began to glow. Jiren has now used more power, as he looked towards Goku and said, Is that all you got? Here I thought that you would actually throw something called an attack towards me. Come on, I could do better in my sleep. Oh, this mortal thinks he could do better than me, huh? <laughs> I love it. Wait until I show you what I have. Before Goku can finish his sentence or do anything, he saw that Jiren has come right next to him as he went and stabbed him right in his guts and said, Now die! Jiren went and released a blast right inside Goku's stomach as Goku got sent flying away and he had a hole in his stomach. But with that, Goku got up and said, <laughs> Look at this! As Jiren saw that Goku has now recovered and he was right back to 100% of his health. Like I told you, I cannot be killed. However, feeble mortal, I cannot say the same about you. You will die by my hands. Is that so? Your body may be invincible, but you're not. All I have to do is aim for your head, and therefore you will be dead once and for all. That is, if you come near my head. As their second round has begun. While that was happening, Broly and Topa were going at it, as Broly decided to go and use his Super Saiyan power. With that, he went and charged towards Topo and striked him in his face, but Topo got up as he went and punched Broly back and they were going at it back and forth. Topo began to go and power up an attack to throw towards Broly, but Broly came right in front of him and striked him as he began to go and overpower Topo. Topo was trying very hard to take Broly down as he was using everything he's got, but he noticed that Broly was far superior to him in power. And from there, Topo decided to go and accept his role as he has now gone and tapped into his destroyer mode. With his destroyer mode, Topo's power level has skyrocketed as he looked towards Broly and said, Now you will die, evil warrior! I'll finish you off with the Hakai, while my friend Jaren will kill your friend Goku. You two don't stand a chance against us. Once when you two die, the war will be finally over. <laughs> your power is great, but before you can... Topo did not allow Broly to finish his sentence, as he went and he striked him in his face, getting Broly to be sent flying meters away. And then from there he saw that Topo came right next to him, as he picked him up and he slammed him towards the ground. For the first time, Broly was feeling weaker than Topo as he didn't like that and from there Topo decided to go and power up a Hakai wave and aim it towards Broly while Broly went and he screamed. Broly has now transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan. You think that that power could come near this? This is a legendary Super Saiyan God. Have you ever fought against something like this? Hmm? Super Saiyan God? Oh well, I still will destroy you. I'm a destroyer now. <laughs> Bring it on then. But remember, you asked for it. Broly went in charge towards Topo while he did the same, and both of their power clashed with one another. Back to Goku and Jiren's fight. Goku decided to go and use more power in this battle as he knew that he didn't stand a chance against Jiren and so he went back to his base form as Jiren saw that Goku has now tapped in to his Ultra Instinct. Okay, Jaren, let's see how you go hold against this form. This is called the Ultra Instinct. I would have to admit, you are by far the strongest warrior I have ever fought. No destroyer can come close to you. That is because I'm focused on getting stronger. After hearing that you killed the Universe 6 and 7 destroyer, I made sure to survive so I could end you myself. Now it's time for you to know what it feels like to be in pain. Jaren went and rushed at him as he tried to attack Goku, but Goku managed to go and hit him and from there he kicked Jaren away. 
but Jiren didn't waste any time getting right back up as he charged right towards Goku and slammed him towards the ground. Goku did a backflip, managed to go and strike Topo in the stomach and from there both of them were going at it as they were trying to overpower one another. Goku who wouldn't back down while Jiren had the same motive, he did whatever he can to survive so he can kill Goku and put an end towards this war once and for all. Goku began to go and use more power as he started to go kick it up a notch allowing him to go and overpower Jiren. Jiren smiled and said, You think you won this because of the power difference? Well, that's how all battles are won, mortal. How feeble is your mind? <laughs> well then, let me show you something. Jiren has now used his limit breaker, as he was now ready to go and take on Goku once and for all. You see this power? This is the one thing I would not want to fight if I were you. But if you still want to fight this battle, then bring it on. <laughs> I knew you had more power than you mortal. From there, Jiren went and he began to power up his key, as Goku saw the key pressure was amazing and from there he said, Well then, let's get ready to be gone. Not so fast. Allow me to go all out too! Goku has now transformed into his Master Ultra Instinct. With that, they both stared at one another as they decide to go and put an end towards this battle once and for all. Both Goku and Jiren went and charged towards each other and their power clashed with one another. Jiren went and he tried to hit Goku but Goku dodged it instantly and from there he went and kicked him as Jiren managed to go and hold on to his leg and from there he threw Goku down but Goku came right next to him and striked him in his face. Jiren got up and striked Goku back but Goku wasn't phased by him and said, you have no idea how powerful I am when I use this form. No one can come near me. You talk too much. You don't know anything about me and that will be your downfall. Before Goku can let Jiren blink or even finish his sentence, he came right next to him as he tried to stab him but Jiren went and caught his blade. But doing so, he got his hand damaged as he tried to go and strike Goku but Goku went and wrapped his arm around Jiren giving him a neck lock and he was about to go and choke the life out of Jiren. Jiren went and kicked Goku right from his stomach as Goku managed to release Jiren and from there, he went and powered up an attack and aimed it towards Goku. Goku saw the attack come and say, Bad mistake mortal. Goku hit the attack head on as Jiren saw that Goku was badly hurt but Goku instantly recovered and he began to smile and say, This is a benefit of being an immortal Saiyan. With that, Goku had a used Zankai boost as he charged towards Jiren and he started to beat the shit out of Jiren. Jiren didn't stand a chance against Goku inside his Master Ultra Instinct. While Goku was doing that, Broly and Topo battles coming to an end as Broly went and striked him in the stomach getting him to gasp for air and from there Broly went and powered up an eraser cannon and aimed it towards Topo. Topo surrounded his body with the Hawkeye as he still got hit by the eraser cannon but it did less damage to him. With that, he saw that Broly went and powered up his fist and decked him right in his chest as Topo fell to the ground and he could feel that he was about to die. And with that, he went and released everything he had in one Hakai Blast and aimed it towards Broly. As Broly got hit by the Hakai Wave and from there, Topo managed to die. While Broly was badly hurt as he was holding on to his life due to the fact that he did get hit by Hakai Wave head on. Goku on the other hand was beating the light out of Jiren as Jiren also didn't stand a chance against Goku and from there he went and powered up a blast and said, Mortal, I'll never forget your name. It's time we put an end towards this, what do you say? From there, Goku was about to go and kill Jiren but he saw that Dai Shinken has now arrived along with the rest of the angels as they all went and surrounded Goku. Goku, it is time you pay for your evil deeds. You want to do Project Zero Mortal after this? Well, not so fast. I have finally told the king of everything and now you're done. <laughs> 
If it isn't the father of all angels, you want to fight me? Bring it on! Goku went and charged head on towards Dai Shinken as he powered up his fist to deck him hard but from there, Dai Shinken went and took Goku's hand and twisted it as he threw him towards the ground. Goku fell with high pressure as he couldn't believe that Dai Shinken was able to do that and went there. When he went to hit Dai Shinken again, Zeno came out and said, You go bye bye! Zeno went and he has now erased Goku. With that Broly has died, as both Goku and Broly, the two biggest criminal in the multiverse, has finally met their end to Zeno's hand, as Zeno went and erased him and now they are dead. Dai Shinken was the one who informed Zeno about all this and now the war has finally come to an end. This is what I believe what would have happened if Goku was born as Goku Black. Thank you very much for liking and supporting this video. I greatly appreciate all you guys who love and support this video. And if there's more you guys want to see about this content or about any Dragon Ball What If, what are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button now and the bell so you'll never miss any new Dragon Ball What If. And if you haven't joined this Discord server yet, click the link in the description below and join it so you can begin RPing immediately. I am Goku T23, and as always, my Z fans, have an insane day.